At five, Wogan's successor Chris Evans admits he acted like a spoilt child while presenting Radio 1's breakfast show. The redhead is due to take over Radio 2's morning show in the new year from veteran presenter Sir Terry, whose programme is the UK's most listened to with an audience of 8 million. In his autobiography, serialised in the Mail on Sunday, Evans described his hell-raising behaviour during the two years he was at Radio 1 as outrageous and delusional. At four, it's Colin number one, as actor Colin Farrell got into an angry confrontation with photographers at the premiere of his latest movie in Toronto. The 33-year-old took objection to requests from the press pen for the Irishman's sister to leave the red carpet, so they had a clear shot of the star. He went nose to nose with one photographer ahead of the screening of his latest movie, Triage. And number three is Colin number two. Colin Firth this time, not arguing, but winning a gong at the Venice Film Festival. The Mamma Mia star won the Best Actor Prize for his role in A Single Man, the directorial debut of fashion impresario Tom Ford. At two, it had to appear somewhere. Michael Jackson's tribute will take place in the UK. Staying tight-lipped after Michael's brother announced that Venice would not host a star-studded event for the late King of Pop, organisers have now confirmed the gig will be held in London next June. Jermaine said the venue would be Wembley, but World Awards Media have yet to announce the exact date or if the concert will take place at the iconic stadium. And romping into number one is Elton John. The singer has announced he wants to adopt a 14-month-old orphan in the Ukraine. Elton performed for youngsters on a trip to the country for his charity, The AIDS Foundation. The 62-year-old admits the toddler stole his heart. I would, um, I would love to adopt him. Um, I don't know how we do that, but he has stolen my heart, and he's stolen David's heart. That's your lot for now. The Hot Five is back tomorrow. Thank you